I'm Eve Schluter with the Natural Heritage and Endangered Species Program, part of the Division of Fisheries and Wildlife. And today we're going to be doing the field portion of the yearly training for utility uh, rights away vegetation management. And we're going to be looking for live turtles, eastern box turtles, and we're also going to be walking through some of the best management practices that we ask the utility companies to uh, utilize when they're actually managing some of the vegetation in these rights away. There's simple things that they can do that can help protect these rare species in the Commonwealth. I have had a transmitter on it. It looks like this one probably had one on it at one point um, through that project. Um, and so by the notching, we can, we're going to take some pictures, we can take it back, and we can um, identify which individual this was and hopefully match it up with some of its prior movement. Can, can you tell us about how old it is? Um, you can um, t tell sometimes by looking at the, the um, bottom of the shell and looking at the lines. You can count them like tree rings. The older they get, they tend to get worn, though, so mm -hmm. it gets harder to, to exactly right. know. My name is Jesse Ledick. I work for the Massachusetts Division of Fisheries and Wildlife, Natural Heritage and Endangered Species Program. Um, we're going to be out here actually searching for a, a state-listed rare turtle called the Eastern Box Turtle. Um, you can see it here right here. Um, pretty colorful turtle, um, four to six inches in size thereabouts. Um, and this turtle is primarily found in upland forests and uh, kind of old field and shrubland habitats like this. Um, so not your typical turtle found in wetlands. So.